Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and here's your word for the day. All right, so we are continuing the message from Peter at the end of chapter one, as he told us to live lives that are holy and to love each other with a pure heart, to have a fervent love for one another as followers of Jesus. And the only way that that happens is when we are growing up, maturing in our walk with God. And Peter tells us exactly how to do that as he gives us some real practical application. Listen to what he says in chapter two, starting at verse one. He says this, so put away all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. It doesn't get any more practical than that. If we want to grow as followers of Jesus Christ, and I hope you do because your goal and my goal as a follower of Christ is to become more like Christ, then we must choose to put away the things that will hinder our growth. By putting away means literally stripping off and throwing away the former desires that we used to pursue when we didn't know any better. You know, the old way of living, when we lived in the world and gratified the desires of our flesh. And so that there is no misunderstanding here, he calls out exactly what you and I need to do. He says, put away all malice, all deceit, all hypocrisy, all envy, all slander. Notice he didn't say put away some of it, part of it, or just a little bit of it. No, he said put away all of it. Put away all. Remember, a little leaven leavens a whole lump. A little sin will spread like wildfire. So put it all away so that you don't pursue that anymore. Instead, pursue the word of God by longing for it, desiring the word of God in your life. Now, this is a strong desire, a strong longing. Just like the psalmist wrote in Psalm 42, 1, as a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. This is more than just cracking up your Bible or cracking open your Bible once in a while. This is running to the word of God every single day because like a baby desires milk to nourish its body that is hungry for milk, we need to hunger for the word of God. His word is the food that we need that will satisfy and nourish our souls. Remember, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This is why we want you to not only read your Bibles, but we want you to apply it to your lives. Remember, the Bible is the inerrant inspired word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. So do you want to grow as a follower of Jesus Christ today so that you can continue to live a life of obedience by loving God with all of your heart, all of your soul and with all your mind? and to love your neighbor as yourself, then put away all malice, put away all deceit, all hypocrisy, all envy, and all slander. And like a newborn infant, long for the pure spiritual milk that is the pure word of God so that you can continue to grow in your walk with Jesus, especially if you have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. God bless you, Calvary. Have a wonderful day.